Hi, thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm really excited to be talking about my top 10 favorite office friendly fragrances. And so I have a lot of um, fragrances that are appropriate for the office. I have some that may be a little questionable, <laughs> um, but I just wanted to talk about some of my favorites. And since it's winter where I am, um, most of these are kind of cold weather, wintry, fall, um, ish fragrances. I do have a couple, um, that are really good for summer, but for the most part, this is kind of a cold weather based list. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to jump into it. And this first one I've talked about a little bit on my channel. I think it might've been in my fragrances I want to try in 2020, even though I have tried this cause I have, um, three of these deluxe samples of YSL Yves Saint Laurent Libre. And so this was a release in 2019 and it's just this beautiful, classy, um, I'm gonna spray it on paper. It's this beautiful, classy fragrance that when I first tried it, I didn't love it, but it really grew on me over time. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's got mandarin orange, lavender, black currant, petty grain, jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, Madagascar vanilla, cedar, ambergris, and musk. And it's just super classy, super floral. I think it's almost good for any time of year. Um, I, cause I think it works well in, in cold weather, warm weather. I can just see this one being just a really awesome daily driver. I really like it. So that's why I sell Libra. And the next one I have is another one I've talked about before here, and this is Lady Setson. And this is just the hidden gem of my collection. I mean, I have a few, but this one in particular, I just adore. It is, it is aldehydes. So it's got aldehydes, peach, tangerine, rose, ylang ylang, carnation, jasmine, sandalwood, amber, and oak moss. And it's just this really elegant, gorgeous, sophisticated, um, not very in your face, just kind of, uh, very office appropriate. I think I, um, I talked about this in my, um, can't remember which video it was. It was, um, one where I talked about, I think great bargains or something like that. But, um, this one is a really great bargain. It's, uh, um, <laughs> excuse me. It's, um, it's found in drugstores, in Walmart, and it's, I think you can get it on fragrance net, but it's this just really gorgeous hidden gem because it's kind of this, this drugstore um, thing that's been around for years and years, decades actually. And I read about it in Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez's Perfumes the Guide book, and I picked it up and I love it. So highly recommend that one. The next one I've also talked about, I do have some in this video that I have not talked about yet on my channel, but this one is Calvin Klein Truth. Unfortunately, it gets really fingerprinty, but um, we can deal with that, right? Uh, so this is Calvin Klein Truth, and this is lovely. This is hmm, Bamboo, Wet Woods, White Peony, Vanilla, White Amber, and Sandalwood. And it's a very beautiful unisex, classy, um, it's different. It, it's not kind of your run of the mill. Actually, it is a lot like um, Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. It reminds me quite a bit of that. They're very similar to each other. They're both good bargains, both I think available on FragranceNet. And I, this is another great one for the office and kind of a great daily driver type one. Now for one I haven't talked about yet. This is by Hermes and this is Jour d'Hermes. And so this is, I just have this little half ounce it's grapefruit, lemon, watery notes, gardenia, sweet pea, green notes, white flowers, musk, and woody notes. And it's very beautiful and floral, rich. Um, I could just totally picture this being a gorgeous, and I think this is a really good unisex. I mean, they're all actually unisex and genderless, but this one, um, most of the ones I'm talking about today aren't necessarily super feminine or super masculine type fragrances. This is one, um, and I, I definitely recommend Jour d'Hermes. It's, um, it's classy, it's beautiful, um, floral, and just really nice. And just a really pleasant, pleasant and sophisticated and cool. So the next one I have, I've talked about 
quite a bit, and this <laughs> is Mugler's Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019. So this is a, a fairly new release, and it's just this gorgeous thing. It's it's fruity. It's definitely a brighter and more fruity kind of youthful fragrance than the other ones I've talked about. It's got that angel DNA, very gourmandy, but it's it's lighter. It's not so serious and syrupy. It's um, mandarin, peony, pralines, red fruits, apple, patchouli, blonde woods, and cedar. And it's just so gorgeous. I just, I can't get enough of it. I could wear this actually every day. I, I would not be completely satisfied because I really like to have the variety in my collection, but this I could see just being a, I, I could wear it every day. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Definitely highly recommend. The next one I've also talked about a little bit here too, and that's Armani C. I have the Eau de Toilette here. It comes in a few different varieties. They have flankers. They've got the original Eau de Parfum. This has been out for a few years, and this is just another beautiful, classy <sighs> black currant, green pear, bergamot, mandarin, neroli oil, freesia, rose, musk, amber, vanilla, and patchouli. And it's a gorgeous, classy, um, I think it would be very office appropriate. This one's a, maybe a little more appropriate for the colder months, and I love it. So that's Armani C, and I think the flankers are good. I've tried, um, Passion, and that's a nice for the original and the EDT over the Passion, but it is nice. Um, next, I have Fan de Fendi. So this is by Fendi, and it's a little bit harder to find, but they, you can get these travel sprays on Fragrance Net, and I think I got this on Google, actually, Google Shop, but I did see it on um, Fragrance Net today. And this has tangerine, black currant, pear, um, Jasmine, tuberose, rose, patchouli, and leather. So you can get that leather and it's just kind of this cool, classy, um, maybe a little more mature than some of these. Um, it's beautiful and I could see this being another really great daily driver type of uh, um, fragrance. It's Fan de Fendi, Fan de Fendi, I think it's pronounced. So, okay, now here's a, a funky one that's pretty new to my collection. This is called Babe Power by Misguided, and that's misguided with two S's. And it comes in this little pop can type, <laughs> type of thing. So it's a little strange packaging and it's got the little thing at the top, but I really like it. It's really gorgeous. Ah, it's got grapefruit, sour cherry, pink pepper, crisp apple, pineapple, rhubarb, orange blossom, peony, jasmine, vanilla, candy floss, which is um, cotton candy, sensual musk, amber crystals. So it's, um, it's very sweet, as you can imagine, with those notes. <laughs> but it's so pretty, and it's actually quite a bit more classy than I would have guessed. I don't know, if you judge it by the packaging, it looks like it could be juvenile or tacky or something, but it's quite classy and beautiful, and I'm looking forward to wearing this more and trying it out a bit, because like I said, that's brand new. I got it on Mercari, but I, I see it's available at Macy's. So, um, and then the last two I have are really good for summer and for warmer months. And this is CK All by Calvin Klein. And this is kind of in the, um, in, you know, the packaging of CK1 and all the flankers of CK1. But this is a little bit different and I think just gorgeous. Citrus notes, including, including mandarin, um, citrus blossom, um, hedion, jasmine, and a touch of amber. Those were the notes that I found on Fragrantica. And so this is a really beautiful, summery, uh, unisex, gorgeous, classy fragrance. And um, I think it would be fine for year round, but um, particularly in summer, I think with the, um, with the jasmine and the citrus, but gorgeous and highly recommend. And then the last one I have is Ralph by Ralph Lauren. And this is just this really pretty apple, very youthful, um, fun, fruity, um, really great for summer. It's got osmanthus, apple leaf, mandarin, magnolia, baronia, yellow freesia, musk, and white iris. And it's been around for a long time. And I know it, there's flankers of it. And I just have this little one ounce, but I, I just love this. I think it's just fun. Not very serious, um, 
this could be just like a, you know, casual day at work kind of thing. So I really love Ralph by Ralph Lauren. And I think it's a, a fun, fruity, great summer fragrance. And I also kind of a um, honorable mention, I wanted to mention the House of Narciso Rodriguez. And I recently did a video, which I'll put up in the cards about the House of Narciso Rodriguez, because it's one of my favorite perfume houses. And I think almost all of their perfumes, at least the ones I've tried, are very office friendly, very office appropriate and beautiful, sophisticated, pretty, um, professional and um, and mostly fairly unisex, quote unquote. Um, so that is another recommendation I have. So thank you so much for being here today and um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you did not. And please subscribe. I would love to have you um, join my channel. And um, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.